We've all done things we're not proud of. We need to be ready to take the next step to make amends. The group begins with Kara, recovering heroin addict, returning to a support group that she previously washed out of, seeking amends. So what's going on, Kay? It's six months, no one hears from you, and then you just rock up. These are a group of people that are struggling with uh, addiction, drug addiction, and they spend time together, you know, going through steps, going through stages. All right, we're gonna go around the group. I don't wanna hear the bad, I wanna hear the good. You know what, I'm, I'm not really feeling this whole. We're not here to sit in judgment. You have nothing to be afraid of. There's a lot of tension within the group because I think there are vast differences between the, the characters and, and why they're there. And then you get this separate entity coming in that blows it all over. This AAT, right? Yes. Name's Jack. Believe it or not, I'm here to help you. You come here every week looking for change, something to make a difference. Well, here it is. Your higher power. <laughs> As soon as Jack arrives in that room, you're on a roller coaster climb of tension and it doesn't really let up. Why are you doing this? We haven't done anything wrong. You sure about that? There's some terrifying moments. These characters are in this that are just forced to the point where they have to face what they've done, what they fear. You bought this on yourselves. These lives you live, the things you do. We're all amongst that and it's non stop. 90% of the film, I would say, is all in that one room. So the storyline obviously has to be good and gripping to keep you uh, engaged. Will, the director, is very focused. He has a very clear idea of what he wants. He and the DP have been discussing this project for a really long time when it came to the specific look of each shot. Andy had very clear ideas about how he wanted it to look. There were some sort of Hitchcock 10 minute takes. I think you needed that. You needed that uh, approach where you let it run. There's real similarities to theater, you know, in, in them long takes. So, you know, you can just really stay in it and really play and really find different things with different characters. It wasn't her fault. I think that's how it makes it authentic and makes it very true and makes it more relatable. Will trusted that he had hired us to do our job, and if we were bringing something to him saying, this isn't working, or I'd like to try this, he trusted our judgment on that, which was really lovely. A life for a life. Whose fault is it? It's so, like, emotionally driven. It explores everything from addiction, revenge, friendships. I'm everything he says I am. There are some moments where you know, your hair stands up on end. And you sort of can see that has built and built and built. Prove to me you deserve to walk out that door. Feel any better now? <laughs> <laughs>